Hi, welcome to Leaf TV. We are super excited to bring you our second episode today, and we are in the STEM lab at Rossmore Elementary with Melissa Blue Yacht, and we are going to have an, an exciting STEM lesson today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to smash that subscribe button for the Leif YouTube channel so that you get notified about every episode as it comes out. Remember, we are bringing you a fun enrichment episode every day around 2.30 during all the school closures because we, wanna, we really want to bring some joy and happiness into your homes and to your families. So please subscribe. And Melissa, we're so excited to be here. Tell us what we have in store for today. Thank you so much, Carrie. I love learning about STEM. And for those of you that don't know, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. I love learning new things. And most of all, I love sharing my knowledge with students and other people. So today, Carrie, I thought, what better way than to learn about animal adaptations and habitats? Great. Carrie, did you know that according to the American Museum of Natural History, their research has shown that there are over 18,000 species of birds worldwide? You're kidding. 18,000. That's yeah. incredible. So I thought today it would be super fun if our boys and girls in Los Alamitos could build bird houses and learn a little bit more about why animal habitats are so important. I love that idea and it looks like we can do it with any household supplies and yeah. we can make really creative designs. So Most tell me about this one. It kind of looks like a teepee. So how is this effective for birds? So this student, she was thinking, hmm, I really want to create a safe habitat for birds so that predators can't easily get to their food and to them. So this student um, combined pipe cleaners with barbecue skewers on a paper plate. Her idea was that having points at the top of her birdhouse would help protect her while, or her birds while there were predators in the area. So her idea was to create kind of like a protective system and then put the food and the water here in the center of the birdhouse. Mm, I love that idea. Yeah, Simple totally. but really effective. And then we've got this really fun design. So yes. tell me about the strategies for this one and how this would help a bird. Well, this student was thinking of a way to keep animals like cats out of their birdhouse, so mm -hmm. they create another type of security system around their birdhouse by using pipe cleaners. And right. boys and girls, this student used paper plates, pipe cleaners, tape, barbecue skewers, and disposable plates and cups. Mm -hmm. So you can use anything that you want. I love and the hole in the cup. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. So how big of a hole, like for most of the bird species, how big would that hole need to be? Students were brainstorming ideas and they were thinking that a hole that was approximately two to three inches wide would be perfect and ideal for the types right. of birds found around here in Los Alamitos. Well, yeah. I love this. So these supplies, hopefully you have around the house, but there's a lot of flexibility with them too. So we're going to take a time out right now so that you can gather some supplies from around your home and then we'll come back and build our birdhouses together. So paper plates, cups, Tape, definitely tape, right? Most definitely, yeah. <laughs> uh, pipe cleaners, wire, skewers, anything to create that structure, and we'll be right back and start our build. So let's take a time out. All right, we've got some Los Al kids here to build some birdhouses. This is Andrew, he's a third grader in Los Al, and Annika, who's a second grader in Los Al. So we're ready to start building and take it away, Mrs. B. Thank you so much, Carrie. All right, Andrew. Annika, are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, let's get those creative juices flowing. I thought it would be nice to start off with some paper plates and maybe even perhaps some cups. Andrew, Annika, what do you think we can use our paper plate and cups for? You can put the food on the plate. You can also put a stick so it can porch on it. Oh, cool. So um, you would put your barbecue skewer in your cup so that the birds have a place to stand on? Yeah. That's so cool. Annika, what are you going to do with your cup? Um, I'm going to stack, I'm going to like, I'm going to cut this part off uh -huh. so I can make it shorter. And then I'm going to fill it up with like food or water. That's mm -hmm. awesome. And as we design our birdhouses, what do you think we can do so that the birds have a safe habitat to build their nests in? Maybe you could put it, maybe you, can, you can put a higher place on the birdhouse. Cool. So for the nest. Nice. Nice and high to keep it away from predators, and especially also, ground predators. That's a great idea. You can also put a hole in and then can, they can be safe inside the cup and, with, and they can build their nest inside. 
That's a great idea, Andrew. Well, boys and girls, I hope that you are coming up with some creative ideas on your own too. And I think we're gonna take a time out in just a little bit so that Andrew and Annika can get to work and they can start building their birdhouses. What do you think, Carrie? Let's do it. Let's take a time out and we'll be right back to see the amazing birdhouses they created. And we are back, and we have two great birdhouses to check out. So take it away, Mrs. B. Thank you so much, Carrie. Wow, this, these look great, guys. Andrew, why don't you tell us a little bit about your birdhouse? I made a porch, and it is soft, so it can have a soft area to stand on. Yeah. And I also made this be like the protection, and then you can put the food on this, and then they can come out of their hole where they live, and they can eat the food. That's awesome, Andrew. Those are some job. great ideas. And Annika, dun 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 dun, what's the big reveal? Wow, that looks awesome. Can you tell us a little bit about your birdhouse? Uh, yeah. So, right here where they come in, they can, if, it, if I hang it really high, yeah. they can come in here and there's like foil down here so they can have a bed right there. Um, and then they can fly up and come through the hole right here. Yeah. And then they can have, like, if it's really sunny, they can have, like, kind of an umbrella. Cool. And then there's a little water dish. Awesome. That's awesome. Great job, kids. What do you think, Mrs. B? How'd they do? I think these are awesome. And I love how they were so creative. They don't even look anywhere close to each other. Mm -hmm. And they really use their, their materials really in such a clever way, too. Nice. And Annika and Andrew, what did you think about building a birdhouse? Did you have fun? Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Life TV. We hope you build this at home with your kids and that it's a really fun activity that brings joy to your household. Please remember to like and subscribe. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And our hashtag, remember, is Life TV. We want to see what you guys build at home, so please post your photos, post it to our Instagram page, to Facebook, and please include the hashtag Life TV. So thank you, Mrs. B. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Andrew and Annika, for joining us today, and thank you for watching. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.